It's round eight of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Cross Country World Cup and wow, haven't we had a tough year. We're just at the back end of a five week block of racing and for most racers that includes four World Cups and national championships. So people are tired and it comes at the worst possible time because every point counts. We've come to Mont St. Anne, it's one of the tougher tracks of the circuit and we've got an overall on the line. Anna Terpstra and Rebecca McConnell are going to be fighting for every bit they can get and also it offers one of the last chances for riders to prove something to themselves and chase their own goals. Yolanda Neff has to come in today as favourite. She has so much history with this track, multiple World Cup wins. So, will she give Anna Terpstra, Rebecca McConnell, Alessandra Keller a run for their money? We're underway in Montserrat for 2022. Yolanda Neff, the number nine, coming towards us. Crash at the back. And that is Emily Batty. Oh, such bad luck. Connell coming around the outside of the yellow. Shoulder to the fuller there. Someone's gone down hard in that turn. Connell getting a mojo back then in Montana here. Yolanda Nefnell goes to the front. Ella looking like she's going by her. Hayley Ban as well. I'm interested to see just what Yolanda can do on this next downhill. Yeah, absolutely amazing on these downhills. And this is the chasing trio. Keller, Haley Batten in there as well. And it has started raining here, heavily as well. Yeah, it's raining like last week. It is, it's torrential out there. Well, Yolanda Neff won't mind it one bit though. Loves it when it gets slippery. Haley Batten second place now. She's Batten. looking good. Yeah, she's looking strong here, Haley Batten today. Beautiful riding down there from Yolanda Neff, making it look so easy. Oh! Wow! That was pretty close for Yolanda Neff there to a disaster. McConnell then dropping back. Sad to see, but hard to watch. Yeah, not in the top ten anymore. Absolutely brutal, the rain coming down. Unbelievable how quickly that has changed. That's it, yeah. Keller now coming up to the line has been caught by Mona Mitawona. There she is. So Mitter Walner looking like she might be able to get on the podium again here this afternoon. Mona Mitter Walner now with uh, Martina Berta. Look at the skills of Yolanda Neff. Yeah, respect for her to make it on a bike on that team. Amazing, Sexy. look at her picking away down here. But look how slick it's got. Neff can barely stop now on this descent. The great riding for Hayley Batten and riding away from Terpster now. Mona Mitterwald also she managed it on her bike. Nicely riding down there. Is she already on the third place? Has she overtaken yes, on the is. team? So, and Terpstra maybe with some problems. <laughs> and Emily Batty, who bravely continued in this race after a massive pile up on the start, is it moved inside the top 20. She can be proud of herself for that today. Oh, look at this then. Can Mitterwald up? Closed right in on Hayley Band from the USA. Burying herself on this climb, as is Hayley Band. All out Bart now in the last yeah. stages of this race. Just coming around the last corner, an unbelievable performance for her. It's the Olympic champion's first perfect weekend, taking a short track win on Friday. Her fourth cross country Olympic win here today in Montserrat. And it's your first World Cup win since 2018, Le Bresse, on a track you love. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like, it's basically four years, almost uh, to the day. I think two more weeks and it's four years. So, yeah, it's, it, it's incredible. It's like, it's unreal. It's, uh, yeah, it's amazing. The Landon Neff has done it. It's a sprint finish behind. But it looks like she's going. What's Miss Awona got left? It doesn't look like she can respond. The young Austrian struggling to go with her. Batten takes a look over her shoulder, it's going to level off now. Mill Walner trying to come around the outside. Still there. They're giving it absolutely everything. Here comes Mona Mitterwalder on the line. Yes, Mitterwalder got it just from Hayley Batten. A photo finish. Oh, what a finish then. Sprint finish, first ever cross country sprint finish. Was intelligent enough to wait for the very end, and yeah, it paid off. <laughs>
it's like the best feeling to be in the fight and sometimes it's hard when your body's just like surviving the race. So to be in that fight and like being able to dig and leave everything out there, that's like the best feeling in the world. An incredible ride for Martina Berta to take her best ever World Cup finish. Keller, that big crash somewhere earlier in the race, still gets on the World Cup podium though. And in the overall standings then, Ann Terps just stays at the top. But as you know, 330 points still to win That's in the right. finals. Yeah. Everything is still open. Yeah, exactly. Things are tight at the top of the table. Only 160 points separate one through five in the men's overall. And after his horrific crash last week in Snowshoe, Nino Scherter is back on the bike and ready to defend that leader's jersey. He's go, go, go then. Here we are. But the rider's driving hard on his first climb here. Nino just looking content to be sat back a little bit at the moment. Things are going to get a lot more serious as they head into the trees though. Yeah, and the first long climb start. Yeah. Attacking hard up there, Karad, no problem for him then. Powering his way up there. But a good gap already. Daphne loses the back just like that. Scherter back in around 15th place at the moment. Here's the chasing group. Colombo in there. Pierre de Freudbaum. 22 seconds back. It's quite a gap. Cool. Carrod, look how fast he is on yeah, the downhill. Not holding back. Massive. Nearly a minute from, from Carrod back now. And still, no one really looking that bothered about chasing him. Wow, Ochoa, a small problem for him. I don't know what it is. Oh, his pedal has actually come off. Colombo decided it might be time to push here in this race now. Look at Scherter in the white. Going past Valero. Whoa, Hadley, oh. a crash here. And you see how slippery it is yeah. and how difficult it is to manage it on your bike. So Hadley, down in 15th now. Scherter goes to the front of this chasing pack now. But it's Caron ever closer to that finish line here today. Scherter looking down at his bike there a little bit as he went across there. He's been down, I think, Mark. Yep. And there's Nino's mistake. Yep. So he's getting pitched off that rock section. And an attack for Colombo further up. Valero trying to go with him. Second and third there, Colombo. Valero. Scherter giving it everything to go with him. Yep. But Corona smile, he's allowing himself a smile. It's been a long time coming for Tichuan Corona, but today here in Montserrat, he wins his first elite cross country World Cup race. Corona has done it here in Canada. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I love Montserrat. I always did great job here and do my first. World Cup win in Elite, it's just awesome. It's gonna be Filippo Colombo then. Power in the away. I don't know, on fourth place. Wow, well, where's Brino come from and do that? So Colombo comes up to take his best ever Elite World Cup finish. Valero, last week's winner, comes across the line in third place. Fourth place is going to go Luca Brino. De Freudmann in fifth, Scherter not getting on the podium. It wasn't quite the carnage of Snowshoe, but this track here in Mont Saint Anne came with its own set of challenges. And there was one man who made it his own. Tito Carrod with almost two minutes ahead of the rest of the field. Nino Scherter picks up a very important sixth ahead of Alan Hatherley with the overall in mind. And a BMC 1-2 to close out what's been an epic weekend of racing here in Canada. And it doesn't stop there. We have one round left. Everything is on the line. The overall will go to Val de Sole. So tune in to Red Bull TV, join us for the action, and we will find out exactly how this season's going to wrap things up.